Scientists finally come clean about what's happening on Venus. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking discovery that has shaken our understanding of planet Venus. This research proposes that Venus has experienced plate tectonics similar to Earth's billions of years ago, sparking speculation about ancient microbial life on this once Earth-like planet. Recently, scientists have challenged the conventional view of Venus as a blistering, desolate world. Surprisingly, their findings suggest that Venus might have experienced tectonic plate movements similar to those witnessed during the early stages of Earth's history. This revelation opens up intriguing possibilities about the potential existence of early life on Venus, shedding light on its evolutionary journey and contributing to our understanding of the solar system's past. The study, featured in Nature Astronomy and spearheaded by a team of researchers from Brown University, unveils a unique approach. By analyzing atmospheric data from Venus and employing sophisticated computer modeling, the scientists demonstrate that the current composition of Venus's atmosphere and surface pressure could have only originated from a bygone era of plate tectonics. This geological process, characterized by the intricate interplay of multiple continental plates pushing, pulling, and sliding beneath one another, is crucial for the development of life. The implications of this discovery extend beyond Venus, offering valuable insights into our solar system's history. On our home planet, Earth, a remarkable process unfolded over countless millennia, transforming the landscape through the dynamic dance of tectonic plates. This complex interplay of Earth's crustal fragments led to the creation of new continents and towering mountains. More significantly, it set the stage for chemical reactions that played a crucial role in stabilizing the surface temperature, creating an environment conducive to the evolution of life. Meanwhile, our celestial neighbor, Venus, took a different path in its planetary journey. Today, it boasts surface temperatures so scorching that they could liquefy lead. The prevailing theory attributes Venus's extreme conditions to a geological state known as stagnant lid. This suggests that a single, immobile plate dominates the planet's surface with minimal movement and limited release of gases into the atmosphere. However, a recent scientific paper challenges this conventional wisdom. In the quest to explain the abundance of nitrogen and carbon dioxide in Venus's atmosphere, researchers propose a fascinating twist to the planet's history. Their analysis shows Venus might not have always worn a stagnant lid. Instead, they suggest that between 4.5 billion and 3.5 billion years ago, shortly after Venus formed, it experienced a phase of plate tectonics similar to Earth's. This early tectonic activity, though more restrained in terms of the number of plates involved and the extent of their movements, would have occurred concurrently on both Earth and Venus. It's a captivating peek into the shared geological past of other nearby planets. And to know more about the shocking discovery of Venus, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. According to Matt Weller, the main idea to grasp from this study is that it's highly probable that, at one time, our solar system hosted two planets concurrently engaged in a geological dance known as plate tectonics, the same process responsible for the life-friendly conditions we enjoy on Earth today. Weller, who led the research while working as a postdoctoral researcher at Brown and is currently based at the Lunar and Planetary Institute in Houston, emphasizes that this finding strengthens the notion that ancient Venus could have harbored microbial life. What's particularly intriguing is the revelation that at some point Venus and Earth were more alike than previously believed. These planetary siblings share the same solar neighborhood, boast similar sizes, and possess equivalent mass, density, and volume. This newfound similarity before their divergent paths adds a fascinating layer to our understanding of the planets and our cosmic vicinity. Furthermore, the study points to a captivating idea that the presence or absence of plate tectonics on planets may boil down to a matter of timing. In other words, the intricate geological movements crucial for fostering conditions conducive to life might be intricately linked to the timing of these planetary processes. This raises the tantalizing possibility that the emergence of life itself could be intricately tied to the cosmic clockwork of plate tectonics. Alexander Evans, co-author and assistant professor at Brown, flips the script on how we see a planet's tectonics. Alexander points out that our understanding of a planet's tectonic activity has traditionally been seen as a straightforward binary concept. Either a planet has, or it doesn't, 
and once determined, it remains constant through the planet's existence. However, this new research suggests a more nuanced perspective. The findings propose that planets can experience shifts in their tectonic plates, moving in and out of different modes over time. This challenges the previous idea that a planet maintains a single tectonic condition for its entire existence. According to Evans, Earth might be the exception rather than the rule in this regard. This revelation also raises the intriguing possibility that transitioning between different tectonic states could be a relatively common occurrence in the universe. It would suggest that planets like Earth may not always have a stable tectonic regime, leading to fluctuations in habitability. In simpler terms, planets might have periods where they are suitable for life, followed by phases where habitability wanes. This concept becomes crucial when exploring nearby moons, such as Jupiter's Europa, where evidence suggests the presence of Earth-like plate tectonics. Additionally, it holds significance for studying distant exoplanets beyond our solar system, as highlighted in the research paper. The scientists initially embarked on this study with the intention of showcasing that the atmospheres of faraway exoplanets serve as valuable indicators of their early histories. However, their focus now has shifted closer to home, where they decided to investigate this idea using current data from Venus. To solve the mysteries surrounding Venus, the researchers adopted a starting point that assumed the planet had maintained a stagnant lid throughout its entire existence. They quickly realized a mismatch as they engaged in simulations, attempting to replicate Venus's present atmosphere. The models failed to align with the observed levels of nitrogen and carbon dioxide in the current atmosphere, as well as the resulting surface pressure of the planet. To unravel the mysteries of Venus, the scientists conducted similar simulations to trace the planet's journey to its current state. What they discovered was a fascinating puzzle that fell into place once they considered the role of tectonic movements in Venus's past. Their simulations, when adjusted to incorporate limited tectonic activity in the planet's early history, followed by the development of the stagnant lid model observed today, remarkably aligned with the actual atmospheric conditions and features of Venus. In essence, the team argues that their work serves as a convincing demonstration of how atmospheres can be a key to unlocking a planet's historical secrets. Rather than solely relying on surface observations, the researchers suggest that atmospheres hold vital clues about a planet's ancient past. Alexander emphasizes a shift in our understanding, stating, We're still accustomed to using the surface of planets to piece together their histories were showing for the first time that the atmosphere might be the most revealing window into the distant past of planets, details that might not be preserved on the surface. This breakthrough challenges the traditional approach to planetary exploration and invites scientists to explore the rich narratives embedded in the atmospheres of cosmic bodies. The upcoming NASA Da Vinci missions are anticipated to play a pivotal role in reinforcing the conclusions drawn in the study by measuring gases in the atmosphere of Venus. While awaiting these valuable insights, the researchers are gearing up to explore a fundamental question raised by their findings. What led to the cessation of plate tectonics on Venus? According to the paper's theory, Venus eventually became excessively hot and its atmosphere thickened, causing a depletion of the essential elements required for plate tectonic movements. Daniel Abara, a professor in Brown's Department of Earth, Environmental, and Planetary Sciences, and a co-author of the study, simplifies it by saying, Venus essentially ran out of juice to some extent, putting the brakes on the process. This intriguing explanation prompts a deeper investigation into the mechanisms that drove this transformation on Venus and the researchers believe the answers may carry significant implications for our own planet. As the lead author, Matt Weller, points out, that's the next crucial step in decoding Venus's story, its evolution, and crucially, the destiny of Earth, understanding the conditions that could steer us toward a Venus-like path and those that could keep Earth habitable becomes paramount. It's worth noting that the study, which also involved Alexandria Johnson from Purdue University, received support from NASA's Solar System Workings Program, emphasizing the importance of collaborative efforts in advancing our understanding of planetary processes.